What is going on everybody, my name is Robert Watkin and welcome back to another Vegas Pro 16 tutorial. In this one I'm going to be showing you how to use the velocity tool and just have a little bit of a mess around with that. Now you can see I've got a very long video at the bottom here um, and this is from a day when me and my friend Kai were out and we were doing free running and we just learned how to do this. Flip onto an object basically. Um, so there's us literally trying just again and again and again and again to stick it. Um, <laughs> you can see how annoyed I am that I didn't. If you don't know what sticking it is, by the way, that basically means you land it and you stay where you land uh, because I actually stepped forward. Doesn't count. Um, but I'm going to have a bit of a mess around with this. I'm going to cut off the beginning here and I will cut off the end here. And I'm just going to show you the velocity tool. So to use the velocity tool you basically want to right click on the clip that you're going to be doing it to you want to click insert slash remove envelope if I can find it and click velocity um, this will then give you this bar and you can see the velocity if I go to the very beginning where there's the little square little cube um, you can see velocity is set to 100% so that means it's running at 100% speed if let's say we move this up to 1000 and then play you can see it's playing it again and again really really fast now to change it back we could either just drag it down and move it back to 100% or if you right click on the little square you get these basically presets so we can go back to normal velocity here which is 100%. Now there's some cool things you can do with this like ramping the speed and stuff um, and just changing the speed the clip's going to play. So let's say I want this to be slow motion and then just before I land I want it to speed up so let's add some points here to add a point you're going to double click on the green line and you can see it adds a little square here and then i'm going to double click before and we'll get these two little squares that which now if we edit them it'll make this like ramp between them so i'm just going to mess around moving these until i get something that looks nice now i'm also going to want it to go back to normal velocity so 100 percent after Now you can see the audio doesn't actually change when you do the, the, the speed ramping and you change the speed and stuff. So you want to kind of make sure you're getting it right. One of the easiest ways to get around this is just delete the audio. So that's what I'm going to actually do here. I'm going to click U on my keyboard, right click, delete. And then I'm actually going to delete the track as well by right clicking on that delete track. So now we've just got the video. Now I still need to adjust this a bit because it's not quite how I want it. Still a bit too much. So it's just subtle edits and you just want to keep going with it until you get something that looks quite how you want it. Um, I think what I'm going to actually do, because now it's slow from the beginning of the video, I'm going to add another point here, set it to normal speed. And I want the slow motion to happen just when I start to do the flip. So we can see this is where the flip is starting to occur. We're then going to slow down quite a lot here. Now it seems it's actually gone to 0% here. We're going to increase this a little bit. I'm going to set it to 40% velocity and then it's going to speed up just as I'm about to land and then go back to normal. So let's have a look at this. So we can see it does do the speed ramp how I want it now. Um, still a little bit of adjustment can be done so I think we're going to make it slow motion for a little bit longer. And be careful you don't go negative because if you go negative it'll start to reverse the video. Um, so let's go 16% there and then have a so we can see slow and then speeds up bang landing and then back to normal speed still a bit too fast yeah let's go something like 200 percent and you can see literally the process of getting it right guys it's just messing on until you get something you want um so i still think this should be moved forward a bit and i don't think it should be as slow i think we're going to go 40 percent slow motion and there we go, we'll get this cool kind of slow effect while we're in the air and then just a, a quick landing. This could work especially well if you had music or something, if you wanted to align it with maybe some drops in the music or just the beat in the music. Uh, maybe th there's a slow part in the song, it goes slow and then it su suddenly drops. When it drops you hit the landing or whatever. Um, this can be used for gaming, this can be used for literally anything you want guys, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, have a mess on. I'd recommend trying it. This is quite a fun tool. You can also get some funny effects sometimes. Like even if I was to, let's say, just put it in reverse. So once we've done it, let's create another point here and just move this to minus 100% and then watch it. Whoop! And now we're going backwards. Um, but this is quite a fun tool. Um, 
You can do a lot of cool professional stuff with it. Personally, I am not the best at using this. I haven't used it loads. So I would also recommend going on YouTube and checking out examples, uh, typing speed ramps for video editing, um, velocity tool and Vegas Pro, stuff like that, and get a few more examples of how to do it and maybe some inspiration of what to use it for. Uh, but this is just a basic view of how to use it and how to change the values. Um, and remember, the audio doesn't change when you change the speed, so you'll have to keep that in mind. Um, and one more thing I'm going to say is if when you've done this it's it is quite laggy let's say it's not showing it quite well you've got to remember you are just in how quickly the frames are being displayed so you can either have a mess around with the preview until it gets smoother or if you just play the video a few times it'll then kind of get used to what's there it'll process the frames a bit and then it might play a bit easier um but that is where i'm going to end this video guys so i hope you did find it helpful i know it's quite a short basic video uh but i just wanted to go over the basics of how to use it like i said i'm not entirely experienced in using this tool i've only used it in like one of my videos before and that was when i went across a bridge and then it rewound the video and then it continued the video again so like um so if you want to get good at it, have some practice, look at some other examples and stuff. But that is going to be where I end this video. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Remember, if you want to see more tutorials, then just leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. If you want any tutorials in particular, then just comment them down below. I'm happy to do them. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next time. I'll see you in the next time. What is wrong with me? I'll see you in the next video of whatever I make. Bye, guys. <laughs>